My name is Catherine Kermode and this is my wild backyard. Today I'm going to introduce you to the large mud nest wasp. This is Australia's largest and most striking wasp. It's a really big species of mud daubing or potter wasp and it's a solitary and non-aggressive species that spends its life making mud nests for its young, collecting caterpillar pests from our garden and feeding on nectar. It's a really beautiful species to have in your backyard. And if you look closely, you'll notice that there are three dots on the head of the insect. And these are called ocelli. And the ocelli are actually types of eyes that enable the wasp to see light. So although they don't see visions with these particular eyes, they're used to navigate so they can keep the wasp upright. They know where it is in the landscape, which direction it's facing and they may also protect it from predators. The lifestyle of the large mud wasp is a busy one. The female in particular has a lot of work to do. She's got to collect all the mud that she needs to make her nest, but to start with, she actually makes the mud. So to do that, she finds a water source and she collects a mouthful of water and takes that to a place where there's some suitable earth to make the right sort of mud. She then, mouthful by mouthful, takes mud to a suitable site where she can build cells. And it can take her 75 mouthfuls of mud to make one single cell. Her work's still not done once she's completed making the cell. Before she can lay her egg, she needs to lay provisions in the cell for her young. She finds caterpillars in the landscape, which she takes back to her nest. She paralyzes them and then she leaves them alive, waiting for her young to hatch. Once the cell has its provisions for her young, she lays her eggs and seals it. And then she starts all over again. So her nest can be made up of six or seven of these cells, and it takes her hours and hours and hours of work to do. When she's not making her nest, she'll be out feeding on nectar. So it's really important that we plant beautiful nectar-rich plants that enable insects like this to feed. It encourages the biodiversity in our backyards. So while the female's doing all this work, what is the male of the species doing? Well, he's basically hanging around waiting to mate with her. So he'll go to her water source, he'll go to her feed source, and he'll hang around the nest hoping to mate. And she will sometimes brush him off and sometimes she will mate with him. Now watching a potter wasp construct this amazing nest is a really fascinating thing, but I'm not the only thing that is interested in watching this. And there's another insect and another type of wasp, which is possibly Australia's most beautiful wasp, the jewel cuckoo wasp, which is also watching the mud dauber as she builds her nest. And the cuckoo wasp is a parasitoid, so it actually lays its eggs in the nest of the large mud nest wasp. When it's young hatch, they feed on the provision and then they actually feed on the young itself. So the difference between a parasite and a parasitoid is a parasite doesn't kill its host and a parasitoid always kills its host. If it's lucky enough to lay its eggs in the nest of a potter wasp, the jewel cuckoo wasp will be the only one to emerge from the nest. Life is amazing. I love having all these different species in my garden. It's all about having diversity. It's all about uh, variety, growing different species that support different insects and birds and animals. We can all do this if we plant different native species in our own backyard.